Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you something I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. But first, let me give you a quick demo. The hardware is very simple, a D1 Mini with an audio jack. So let me plug it in and show you what it can do. Hello there. Do not forget to like and subscribe. So as you can see, it's controlled by MQTT messages. You can make it play MP3 files, say text, and play cell phone tones. And the reason I built it is because a month ago, my ISP had a major internet outage and all my smart speakers pretty much stopped working and I lost all audio notification from my home automation system, which is Home Assistant. So I started looking into building a cloud-free notifier that I can use and control locally. I did a quick search on the web and I found some mp3 player projects but they all use this mini mp3 module that you have to preload the files in the SD card beforehand, which is not very practical. Then I discovered a library called ESP8266 Audio which allows a device like the Wemos D1 Mini to play mp3 files directly from a URL and this is where I started. So after a couple of hours of coding, I got it to play mp3 files by sending the file URL over an MQTT message and I also added other functionalities like text-to-speech and playback of the RTTL tones. It has been working great so far when I use it with an external amplifier, but I wanted to integrate it with a speaker directly. So first I tried a very simple one transistor amplifier, but it was too quiet. Then I tried cheap dollar store speakers, but the quality wasn't very good, so I decided to simply buy a decent mini amplifier from China. I'm still waiting for it to arrive in the mail, and when it arrives, I'm planning to gut out a damaged Google Home Mini I have and use the speaker with the mini amplifier to create a nice standalone audio notifier. So if you're interested in that, make sure to follow me on Twitter, I will be posting updates there. To make it easy for everyone to build, I created a bin file that you can load directly with Desmodizer. But before we do that, if you like this video, hit the like button and if you want to see more, consider subscribing and if you're interested in supporting my channel, please check out my Patreon page. The first step is to connect your D1 Mini to your computer, open Tasmotizer and load the bin file. Check the description below for the link to get the file. When it is finished, connect to the Wi-Fi network called Mr. DIY Notifier and the password is MrDIY.ca. You should get this pop-up, if not, go to 192.168.4.1 and fill in your Wi-Fi network name, password and your MQTT server IP and credential. And when done, press save and connect back to your home Wi-Fi. On the hardware side, simply get an audio jack, cut it in half, and solder the left and right channels to RX and ground to ground. And now you are ready to plug it in into your stereo, and if you hear the sound, it means it's connected successfully to your Wi-Fi and MQTT server. Here's a quick example in Home Assistant where I created an automation that plays an alarm sound every day at 7 a.m. And here is the same thing done with Node-RED. Here is a full list of commands you can use. 
and as always links to the specific products i use in this video are in the description below along with the instructions and download links this is it let me know in the comment section if you are planning on building one or if you have a project idea that you think i should look into peace